So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to pack for your dog. So I recently did kind of a tutorial showing you guys what I pack for myself clothes wise. And I wanted to show you what I pack for Leo um, every time I travel and just some really good travel tips for when you're traveling with your dog. I guess the first thing would be documents. So depends on the airline. I can do another, um, another vlog on this later, but depends on the airline. Make sure you go to their website um, search flying with your pet, um, whether they're a service animal, animal, emotional support animal, or just a pet traveling with you. Each airline has their own rules, so you want to make sure that you are doing whatever that airline, going by that airline's rules. So, a little backstory on the ESA thing. Um, I used to be deathly afraid to fly, like... I don't know if you've ever seen the movie um, Final Destination where they're like on the plane and the guy's like, I got a bad feeling about this. Like you got to get off. Like everyone get off the plane. That's me. So you don't want to be sitting next to me on the plane ever. I'm just terrified of flying. And Leo has like helped me so much. I, every time I get on the plane and he's with me, I feel calm because I'm like taking care of something else and like petting him and loving him and making sure he's okay. So, yeah. So he's basically what saved me. And now I can actually fly on an airplane and not be super scared. Every airline's different. Make sure you go on their website. You can call them. They're super informative. Just say like, you know, I'm traveling with my pet. What do you guys require? And they're like, this, you need this, this, and this. It's really easy. So with Delta, they updated their um, rules and you have to get a health certificate um, for your dog and you can do this at any vet can do this. They all are very aware of these um, new guidelines and like exactly what you need. They gave me this document, um, basically what it says is what kind of dog what kind of dog it is, rabies vaccination, any kind of vaccinations they've had, um, you know, if, if your dog is microchipped. So yeah, just one page, but that's the document they give you. I usually have them make a couple copies just in case I lose them, because I usually do lose them. So that's that. They change their regulations, so you need this um, health certificate within seven days of traveling. So. I get that. Then I have Leo's letter and from my doctor that he's an ESA and I put everything in like a passport case. This one's really cute. My mom gave it to me. It's a Kate Spade one. It's um, a little Frenchy. But you can put everything neatly in here or you can just do like a plastic bag that works too. But um, I just keep everything in here with my ID, my um, boarding pass, <laughs> everything like that, like a credit card or whatever. That's what I do. I just keep everything in here when I travel. It's easy. Um, the next thing, always, always, always have poo bags on you because your dog, I mean, you try to pre prepare beforehand, but more than likely your dog is going to take shit in the airport. So Leo has done this many times. And what I like to do is I buy, I mean, you can get any, doesn't matter the brand. A nice tip is I go to TJ Maxx or like Home Goods and I buy like a box of them or boxes. Um, they're super cheap at TJ Maxx, like ridiculously cheap. I only buy them there. So I'll go there, get a bunch of boxes and I put it, these bags everywhere. I'll unravel the thing, tie like five to the leash, I'll put them in my pockets, I'll put them in my backpack, I'll put some in here, I'll put them um, in my luggage, like my carry-on, I'll put them in my purse, everywhere, I have these bags everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous, but not if your dog goes to the bathroom and you're like scrambling and you're like, where's my poo bags? And then it takes even longer to clean it up. There's a herd of people coming at you. You have to quickly clean it up. Anyways, 
shampoo bags are a must. So that's that. I know what you smell. Yeah, I know what you smell. My next really good tip is this eye lube. So we all know that um, skin gets really dried out on an airplane and so do your eyes, like everything does. If you guys, I hope you can see that. This stuff is magic, especially, especially because um, Frenchies um, tend to have dry eyes. Their eyes bulge out more than normal dogs. So you want to keep their eyes moisturized 24 seven. Um, because their eyes bulge, they get dry super easily. And we all know what happens with dry eyes in a French Bulldog or any kind of bug-eyed breed is that they get ulcers from the dry eye. This is super dangerous. If your dog gets an ulcer or you are not sure, go into the vet immediately. Um, this is a way to prevent ulcers. Ulcers can lead to having to have eye surgery like Leo um, or potentially losing their eye, which is really scary. So always, always, always pack this stuff it keeps their eyes clear so if you put this on before they go to bed if you've noticed a lot of dogs sleep a lot of french bulldogs um, sleep with their eyes like cracked open and so like you know like the gross like that but during the time they're sleeping um air gets in dries them out and that's what causes that like brownish tint on their eyes so they don't have like wh a white eye it can get brown or like discolored that's all from dry eyes, so this is magic. Put this on before the plane, before they go to bed, before they go to beach, this stuff, use it. And I get this on Amazon. My next tip is um, to bring a bag of treats. Put them in a plastic bag. Um, for treats, I only give Leo, I never give him super hard treats because he rarely chews them. Um, or he doesn't chew them well enough. So I like to find treats that are in between soft and hard because you don't want them to be like crumbly or like gross. You want them to be easy and like clean. Um, put them in a plastic bag, put them in your purse or your backpack, your carry-on so they're easy to grab. These are lifesavers. There's this brand called Earth Bar. They do really good wipes, shampoos, etc. They have little um, packs, I guess you'd call them. They, like This is one of their big packs. I usually carry on one of their small packs. Um, you can do the eye wipes, or they also just have like their normal um, grooming wipes. They're fragrance-free um, for sensitive and skin allergy-prone dogs. So I'll bring these with me. I can either pack them like this, which makes them really easy. You just pull out a wipe from the top, like a Kleenex box, basically. Or you can throw these in a plastic baggie, a separate one. I like plastic baggies because they're smaller, more compact, and I feel like it's easier to access. Those are great, um, especially just to wipe down their paws when they've been in an airport. Like, it's really disgusting. I wipe them down after he's walked around in the airport. Um, because he's going on my lap, he touches my face with his paws, and I just like him to be clean. I usually pack a toy. This is a really cute one I just got. It's like a little LaCroix bottle, or like can, and it has a squeaky. Um, so I'll bring a toy, um, one of his bones. I only let him chew on Benny bones. Um, you can get these on Amazon or like other pet stores, but I do watch him while he chews this. I never, ever, ever allow him to chew on any bones when I'm not watching. And I never let him chew on any bones unless they're Benny bones. And this is like a special occasion when he gets those because their teeth are very, um, they're not as durable as you would think. So, water. So, <laughs> I, I can't find his portable water bottle. Um, it's like, you know, one of those flat ones that's collapsible. I usually hook that onto my backpack or my carry-on, and then I always have a water bottle with me, so that's just an easy way to give him water. Um, however, I try not to give him water before the flight 
about an hour before and then on the plane I feed him ice cubes so I'll hold the ice cube order from the stewardess like a cup of ice and just like let him lick on an ice cube or two so he stays hydrated but then he's not gonna pee the last two products that I have to show you are this nose balm and a, a pad protector a loyal canine and I got these a long time ago and they I still have a ton left so like see I have so much left uh, the nose balm obviously you put it on their nose because it gets really dry um, it prevents it from like crusting it's just they can't moisturize their own face so you have to do it for them um, this is Leo's moisturizer and then um, his foot pad protector this protects them against um if they're going hiking or even just if they're like really dry their paw pads um this is a great product to use if if it's hot outside it protects them from like the cement it also um moisturizes them if they're really dry and like cracked so believe that's all i have um obviously I put Leo in a harness every time. The best harnesses in the world are Frenchie Bulldog harnesses. They're all reversible, you guys know that. It's the only thing we ever use. Um, they're the most comfortable for your dog and they're like the cutest prints. We love to match. So this would be Leo's outfit um, if we were flying on the plane. I guess that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, um, questions or comments, comment below, I will answer them. Um, and make sure to follow us on Instagram um, at Bridget and Leo and um, Frenchie Leo. Also, make sure you subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.